Hey y'all, it is finally time for me to do a review of my June Etsy Yarn Club. Yes, June. Wow. It's August already. So, I, ha I can't do July's yet because I have, uh, that won't be here till sometime next week, I think that's right. Um, and I'm sorry that this is so late, but it just kept getting put off and off. So... Without further ado, I'm going to show you, uh, and I actually have, I ordered the June, but she had a sale on her May uh, yarn club, so I ordered it too, and she accidentally sent me the April one as well, <laughs> but she messaged me and told me to just keep it, um, she didn't know what she was thinking, but, so I have actually her June, May, her April, May, June club to show y'all plus some other yarn I, I ordered from her so yeah I have uh, more than just the June months club to show y'all but we're gonna start with the June months club but this is from um, show real studios I showed it a little bit come on camera focus There we go. Okay, Show Real Studios. And, uh, yeah, she has the, the her yarn club. Oh my goodness, I did not write down the price before I started this. But, I'll put the price and everything up here in the name so y'all will know, and there'll always be the link down below. Um, with this yarn club, you not only don't know what the colorway will be, it's, it's a mystery yarn club, right? Um, you also don't know what fiber the yarn will be. So it's a little different than the, the ones previously. So you, you could get the, all kinds of fibers. You never know what fiber you'll get. So this for June, you always get this little card over there. Uh, June's was bamboo. So she always gets you always get this. Come on, focus. There we go. And it says exploring bamboo. And inside it has all this information about bamboo as a fiber. And, and I think that's really interesting. Then on the back, it, it, it has a section about what can I make with this? So, uh, I think that's really interesting that not only do you not know what the color is going to be, you don't know what fiber you're going to get. So, I find that very interesting. So, this is, uh, this is the color I got for June. Very pretty. This is very soft yarn, y'all. Look at this. Super soft. This is, the name of this is called Pantanol. I don't know what that means, but um, this is 80% Merino and 20% Bamboo Superwash. Fingering weight. Get 100 grams, 493 yards, or 399 meters. It does say four ply, so. But this is so super soft even though it still has the it has the merino wool and it has the little bit of bamboo it is a very soft yarn so i'm gonna slide this off so we can unwind it like i usually do okay a lot of tangle going down here we go. Oh, I might not should have done that. I might not get this one uh, wound back up because it is a very slinky yarn. But look at the look at the colors on it. So pretty. It's got like the greens and um, 
Well, it's a a lime. It's not really yellow. It has green undertones to it, but and then it has the oranges. It's a very soft and slinky yarn. I can't quit touching it. It's so soft. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to make something with this. This is super pretty. Super. Look, look at this mess I'm making over here, y'all. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to see how fight y'all to see me fight with this yarn and it's still it's pretty loose. I think I can tuck this up under some more, but I didn't notice it before. It has this darker little bit in it, which is cool. But um yeah. This is a really nice yarn, y'all. I love the softness of it. Um but this was June's uh color and yarn because like I said with this one you get different blends and things I think I think they're all blended with merino from what I've seen but there's always some other fiber in there you know this is totally messed up I am not a yarn winder like a hank winder I'm terrible at it can y'all tell so now I really like all this information. I gotta read that later. Now, let's take a look at what the other two months were I got. Um, for May, it was a Tussa Silk was the fiber. And again, it has the card that tells you all about the fiber and what you could make with it and all of those things. Um, so this one was called Austri Australis Australis and it's 63% merino and 37% Tessa silk non superwash and this is a worsted weight yarn um, so you get different weights different fibers and different colors it's very interesting 100 grams 247 yards 226 meters so this is a much thicker yarn I normally get with these clubs. What is on there? But I like the colors of it. It's definitely not as soft as the other one, but it's still soft. It's it feels like a uh, sturdier yarn, if that makes any sense. It's not not soft. It's just not silky feeling like that, which is funny since it has silk in it. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna um well I guess I should um, it has a sheen to it you can see the sheen on it so uh let's let's unwind it maybe this one will go better than the last one <laughs> let's see all right Get that out of there whoop whoop yeah, this is going to stay together better. Ooh, look at that bright colors with the dark. It's like this neon yellow. Yawn in your face. Gotta keep my face out of the way so you can actually see the yarn. Yeah, I like that combination of colors. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see the twist of the yarn and everything. I don't think this is focusing very well on it. So, it does have some good drape to it, but it is a little more more of a sturdy yarn than that other one. That other one is very soft and I can tell it would be extremely drapey. Um, I think this would have good drape too. It just would be a little more structured I would think because that's the non super wash. Yo. I don't 
don't even know why I try to do this because I may as well I would take it off and <sighs> my hanks look so awful it looks it's a lump not a hank I cannot twist these things like I'm not a professional twister I would just take them and go ahead and wind them into a cake but natural fibers just in case you didn't know and it can happen even to acrylic you really shouldn't be winding things into a cake until you're ready to use it because it stretches the yarn when you wind it and it compresses it a little bit so if uh, you leave it sitting there too long it could change actually change the weight of your yarn uh, so I definitely don't do that with I have done it with some acrylics you lose my scrap cakes and it, it acrylics usually doesn't do it as bad but I don't do it with any of my natural fibers so unless I'm gonna be using it soon uh, now this one is from the April Club I always get these other cards in it and April was cotton cotton exploring cotton um and actually this is really nice y'all this is very soft um it's not it's 50 percent um superwash merino and 50 percent cotton superwash finger and weight four ply 100 grams 436 yards 399 meters it's azure is the color it does have it's hard to see but there is some speckling just a little bit of speckling in there very pretty this is soft it is not as soft as the bamboo one but it is soft to have cotton in it. cotton can be stiff sometimes but yeah so let's go ahead and unwind it I'm gonna be blurry for a second look at that all right a very nice yarn you can see the twist on it it doesn't have much color color variation but it does have uh, some and it has that little bit of speckling in some spots it's very pretty it's like a a mild day with clouds or something it does remind me of the sky a lot uh, yeah I like it so the bamboo one was the softest and silkiest one in my opinion well there we go um this one will be second for softness and then the tussa silk one actually is feels more wool like than these two i would say uh, you know wool has that little stiff hand to it that hardy kind of hand to it depending on what kind of wool you get i mean it still can be soft but just In my experience, I can tell when something has wool in it. <laughs> Although, I have to say, this bamboo one is so soft. I don't know if I didn't if I didn't know it had wool in it, I probably would not think it had wool in it cuz it is so just this soft even against my face. I'm going to stop doing that. I got makeup on. So, let's see. Well, that one's a little better. Getting better at it, y'all. Getting better at it. I want to keep my labels on here so I remember what color it is until I get it logged in to my ever-growing yarn log. But, yeah, I really like that. So those are the April, May, and June of this year. Ooh, those two. Those two right there go together really good. 
but one is worsted weight. So, so that's the cool thing about this yarn club. You get, uh, not only do you get a surprise colorway, you also get a surprise weight of yarn and a surprise blend of yarn. Looks like all of them are blended with wool of some kind, but then they have some other kind of fiber in there. So I think that's really cool. I want to say, and I will correct it up here if it's wrong. I know I said I'd do it earlier, but I'll do it again here. I want to say this was $22 for this yarn club. Um, there were no extras, but I do find it interesting that uh, this club is a total mystery, right? You don't know what you're going to get. And I do love the card that comes with it that talks about the um, the fiber. Oh, it also talks about the color. I didn't realize that, but you see the azure? It's not going to focus right now, but it, it talks about the color used as well. Look at this other one. Yeah, and it talks... Australis, Australis. Yeah, and it tells you what that means. That's the name of the, what the name of the yarn is based on. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I really, and well, and like I said, I got these two for, I think I only paid twelve dollars. Well, for this one, and this one technically I got it for free because she accidentally sent it to me for some reason. I think it was only one of each left. So, so there are. The yarn of the month clubs now i have also ordered some other yarns from her um i think these were on sale as well um i just thought it was cool it's a stalwart sock set 80 percent south southwest superwash merino 10 percent nylon and 10 percent lurex that's the bigger one uh 50 grams 220 yards the smaller one is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 20 grams, 88 yards. So, I really like the colors on this. And this is, this one's called Nacho, Nacho Mamas, like a Nacho Chip, Nacho Mamas. And then this one's called Salsa. So, I thought that was pretty neat. I really like the two together. It definitely reminds me of salsa and chips. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to unwind these because I'm just going to get into a mess. But you can see pretty good the coloring in that. Um, yeah, I guess you're supposed to be able, I don't know, would you be able to make a pair of socks out of this? It seems like a small quantity. I don't know. I just like the colors. I have yet to knit socks, so. Um, and then this one, camera don't want to focus on its own today. Uh, this one I bought because this is actually, I can't remember if she herself or someone she knows has been affected by MS, which is multiple sclerosis. Um, this is the card that came, came with it. Um, it's called Numb Toes is the name of the color. And a $5 donation goes to, um, help msfocus.org. Um, so I know, I usually know more than one person with MS. So, I decided to purchase one of those, and this is the color. It, it is called Numb Toes. That's what it's called. Um, and it is an orange with the black speckles. It does have some greenish coming through from the black, and there's some different colors right through there. This is 75% merino, 25% nylon, superwash, finger in weight, four ply, 50 grams, 220 yards, 200 meters. So, yeah. 
I like the color of it. I really do. I'm not going to unwind this one <laughs> again, but I really do like it. So that was the other one I ordered from Showreel Studios. So, um, there wasn't a huge amount of yarn in her shop the last time I looked. Um, I think she was getting ready for something in particular. I can't remember y'all. I'm sorry, but uh, I do like all the yarn I've got. I, I have, um, like it's an interesting, certainly an interesting, uh, yarn club because it's, um, you get to try out different fibers and weights of yarn. I think that's really cool. Uh, so that's it for this review. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down below about the yarn. Um, I will have a link to her shop, obviously, down below, as usual. Um, I'm looking forward to trying out some of this. I think my favorite one is the one I actually purchased for the month of the club, which was this one with the, the bamboo and the bamboo and merino blend. It is so incredibly soft, y'all. It is just the softest thing and maybe making me like a scarf or something out of it it's so soft so that's it for my review y'all uh if you like this video please think about giving it a thumbs up think about subscribing down below um i do supposed to be doing one of these once a month i got a little behind over the summer uh so I, I've been trying out one every month in Etsy, and then I also have podcasts. This past week, I've been doing a blog, so and I have some tutorials coming up. So, if you think you'd like all that stuff, uh, just think about subscribing uh, and give me a like, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!